What's it, Gannon lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. Today we have the second in form, Riyad Mahrez from Manchester City. We're going to review the Algerian today and see what he brings to the table. Of course, I've got his one watch version, but that is the exact same as his second in form, so it goes up in rating as he gets better cards. And lads, if you do enjoy this review, you know what to do. Smash your like on the video. Let's try and crack 1,000 for Riyad Mahrez. If you are new to the channel, drop a subscription, click the little bell, and do all that good stuff as well. Well, now, in terms of the formation right now, we've got a kind of a bleak defence. We have a Yedlin at right back. It's not a bad right back on this game, I've got to say that. De Gea's and Nez, Sanchez centre back alongside Nathan Ake and uh, Alonso left back. We have Fabino, Makaleli and uh, Mkhitaryan in the midfield. Sometimes I go to a 4 2 3 1, other times I just stay in this formation or a 4 1 2 1 2 when Mares would go calm. Hernandez is a striker. We have Hazard in the left, and of course, the main man of the day, Riyad Mahrez. What's he gonna be like, lads? Let's get straight into the review. So here we go. Now, in terms of price for the card, I've covered both his one to watch and his inform. And the bracket between those two for each card is 200 to 250 on the Xbox and 200 to 250 on the PlayStation. Exactly 250 for his one to watch on the PlayStation. Now, in terms of his return, he did score seven in six games with the one assist, not too bad, and he was on corners as well. So. Uh, that is how he got the assist. He's got five star skills, as you know that. Four star weak foot, medium to medium work rates, and he's left foot primarily, meaning from the right hand side, if you cut inside, do the timed finesse. It is so OP with this card. What's even more OP was, I was complaining on the last review of his 86 card that his stamina was very, very low. Yeah, they must have heard me because as you can see, it is now 90. What an increase from 77 to 90. It's went up plus 13. One of the biggest increases this year in terms of stats. That is fantastic. Now he's got 90 stamina. He can run all game long. He can run through fields of green. He can do what he wants, lads. He can do what he wants. His stamina is 90. Fantastic. Fantastic for the card and fantastic for you guys. In terms of the pace, it is 90 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, very, very good. And this card, I've got to say, is so damn fast. Everything he does is 100 miles per hour. There's no let up in this card whatsoever. He's got 95 agility, 89 balance, 78 reaction, 90 ball control, 93 dribbling, and 87 composure. When it comes to passing category, it is stacked 85 in total. And the shooting category, 85 position and 85 finishing, 84 shot power, 86 long shots, which you're about to see quite a few in this review. Power, finesse, whatever you want, is great from range, as he did power that one home in the background. And he's got 81 penalties and 76 volleys. Now, in terms of the best chem style for the card, I've went with Engine simply because it enhances the reactions. I could have went with um, something else, but the, the reactions are 78, so I thought I'd boost them up a little bit, and Engine does exactly that. You see Mario's going to deep in the field, play it in a Chicharito. He receives the ball back. What's he going to do? He's going to play it down left hand side, and uh, he's going to get the ball back because this run is amazing behind the defense. Look how quick he is, man. Superbly quick. He cuts it back, and who's there to score? Chicha Bloody Rito. He puts it in the back of the net. So in terms of the pros then, lads, stamina, 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 plus 13. How can you not uh, like add that as a pro? It is such a benefit to the card. You can run from minute one to minute 90 to minute 120 if you want. In uh, for champions, he's a very good runner on this game, and he rarely, rarely runs out of stamina. 90 stamina, fantastic for the card. And I hope they do this going forward with the end of era cards, if they ever come out, or the flashback cards. I hope they add like increased stamina and whatnot to the cards. We win the ball back for Bino, plays in Maris, who's playing in a 4 3 2 1 in this situation, and uh, we do get him behind the defense. Just, I mean, that is just lucky. We get him behind the defense, we kind of do mess it up. I go for the chip, I receive the ball back. I'm not too keen on shooting on his right, put it on his left. His left foot is a wand. It is so damn good in this game. When it comes to dribbling with this card, like I said, Everything's 100 miles per hour because he's got the acceleration of 90, he's got the agility of 95, the balance of 89, the dribble and stat of 93, and he's got five star skills. Everything you do, whether it be the drag back, whether it be the ball roll, whether it be a, a bloody pirouette, it is 100 miles per hour every single time, and I love that about the card, I'm not gonna lie, because sometimes FIFA can be slow, I'm not gonna kind of beat around the bush, it can be slow, it can be lethargic, but Morris, he quickens the tempo, man, every single time he gets the ball, it's like, yes, I'll do this, I'll do it now, and he does it, he does it, he does it very well as well, his agility is fantastic, it's 95 plus 4 with an engine cam style, so it goes to 99, as you see another great finish there in the background, 5 star skills, definitely a bonus to this card, and you can add in the 4 star weak foot as well, because you can shoot his right, but like I said, 
His left foot is a bloody one. As he takes on one, passes the ball inside the Chicharito. He does receive, like, receive the ball back and uh, he cuts inside. Just look at this finesse, man. It is beautiful. In terms of shooting with the card, time finesse every single time and it will fly into the back of the net. When it comes to acceleration, very quick on this game and his sprint speed isn't too shabby either. 84 plus 5 with the engine cam style. His movement is fantastic and I thought it would be an issue medium to medium work rates, but it wasn't. It really wasn't for the card. I thought, you know what, he's not going to move. He definitely moved with instructions there. Stay forward at all times, get him behind the defence. And as you can see, he did exactly that in that moment. Stay forward, got him behind the defence, a bit trickery, and he puts it in the back of the house, kind of being cocky on that goal. And the only kind of found with the card was the strength. He's not very strong, 65 strength, 56 aggression, and uh, he's not very strong in the slightest. So he will get pushed off the ball if you can catch him. If you can get near him, he's very, very evasive and quick on this game. So when it comes to the overall rating, the lads, I'm going to give him one now. Overall rating, 9.2. It's a 0.4 from his last 86 rig. I fully reckon the stamina makes this card, man, and he feels really, really quick. It's not the stamina that makes him feel quick. It's acceleration, agility, uh, balance, and dribbling, but he feels so damn good on this game. So he's getting a 9.2 in terms of rating in that category, and he fully deserves it, man. He fully, fully deserves it. It. Value for coins, 9.4. The one to watch, I'm giving a 9.4. The inform would get like a 9. I reckon he's worth it right now. Put him in your weekend league team. You do wonders. I'm hoping I get him in red tomorrow for the weekend league rewards. Enjoy the rain 9.6. What's not to enjoy about a four-star weak foot, five-star skiller with great dribble and great acceleration, great stamina, great shooting, great everything really apart from strength. What's not to enjoy? 9.6 in that category. Foot chance ready? Yes, if I get him in red, I might just use him at some point, even though I'm doing the iconic series, which guys, you missed it the day. There's gonna be improvements on it tomorrow. Make sure you find out um, the latest episode at the end of the video. In terms of players we have Mohamed Salah who got an info today if you want to see that comment in the comment section below Toban and we have Suso as well I reckon he's kind of similar to Suso's 86 rated informer the key pro is the dribble it's just it's, it's next level man it is next level key con is the strength and the best cam style for me would be engine as you can see the top 10 central midfielders I know what you're going to say that's not the top 10 wingers I need to update it lads but that is the top 10 central midfielders as of right now and footstop Gilboji is still in there what a bloody card he is but anyways guys Hope you have enjoyed this review. If you have, once again, bring the bloody hype. I know what you like. You bring it all the time. But once again, bring the hype. Smash the hell. Oh, that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.